Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. My keyboard cabinet is nearly finished. I've got to fit the music rest inside, uh, do a couple of electrical connections for the LED lights, and it's there, apart from one thing. And this is one really important thing. The lid is quite heavy, and I don't want this lid to come crashing down or flopping the other way. Um, when uh, the cabinet's in use. So I've done some research looking into soft close stays. These are the sort of things that uh, allow you to open a cabinet uh, to its full open position and then when it closes it doesn't go kabang, it just slowly closes without you having to control it. Now my problem is that the lid weighs quite a bit. I think it's about seven kilos. It may be a fraction under. Uh, but even so it's a hefty beast. And I couldn't find anything initially on the market that would be absolutely right. So I contacted a company called Eurofit, and they are in East Yorkshire. And they very kindly gave me all sorts of advice. And we got talking about soft close lid stays and so on. And eventually they very, very kindly uh, sent me uh, samples of a product that they do. And these are their soft close toy box lid stays. Now, now these are handed, in other words you need one for the left side and one for the right side and so if you need to get two make sure you get one of each and not uh, two left hand ones. Now the fitting instructions are absolutely superb uh, as you can probably see and it tells you how to uh, fit these, how to set them up for either uh, 70 degrees or 105 degrees. Well I want my lid to be at exactly 90 degrees. So I thought I'd set up a test rig uh, which would allow me to use my own calculation of where the soft close stay should go. And here is the uh, setup. Uh, basically it's got a couple of uh, sides to it, uh, a bit like the keyboard cabinet and, and a lid. Now this lid uh, weighs uh, just over four kilos. And one of the things I want to also do whilst I'm using this test rig is to see how much weight the soft close hinges can cope with. Now my template for the uh, piece that fits onto the uh, main frame uh, is very simple. It consists of uh, three holes which will be used for the pilot positions for the screws. Uh, it has a registration place here at the back and a registration place here at the top and as you can see I've cut it so it is uh, exactly uh, flush here. So all I've got to do is push it into place and drill there, there and there. And I then just take it to the other side, keeping it exactly the same, uh, take it over there and drill through those holes the other side. And that should be uh, right for the main base plate. Now in the instructions it uh, takes all the measurements from the centre point of the hinge, which is fairly logical really. And uh, I've looked at uh, the figures for 70 degrees and the figures for 105 and I've just done a linear interpolation between the two to end up with where I think this should be. And I've also made allowance for the thickness of my back piece and the extra little distance to the centre of the hinge. And so I'm now going to test uh, my little jig. I'm sure it's fine and it's flush here at the top. It's pushed to the back and all I have to do is just to do these few drills and that then identifies the position of the screw holes for this plate. And I'm going to do exactly the same process for the other side. I've turned this over now so that's in position. Make sure that's flush along the top there which it is and just get those pilot positions in. Now for the uh, top part of the stay, uh, the distance from this inside edge is 11 millimetres. Well, I know my material in this case is 18, so 11 plus 18 is 29. So I'm going to mark a line along here, 29 from that edge. And that will be the centre line for the screw holes here. Now according to my interpolated figures, the centre for this piece should be 109 from the centre of the hinge, and I've marked that line already. Now the arm is joined onto the uh, arm fixing plate, 
uh, using a small machine screw, which I've removed, and so you can then remove the fixing plate. And that now allows me to uh, screw this in position as my, all my holes now are pre-drilled. Now those first two screws were quite easy to put in on the main body, uh, but the third screw, uh, this part is in the way, so what you can do is to fold this up like so, and then push down like so, and then screw that last screw in. And that's that in place. And now what I've got to do is unite the arm and the arm plate. I've got this set up so that the lid is at 90 degrees to the base. And you can probably see that my calculation for where this plate should go is wrong. So I'm going to move this plate rather than move that and get this in a better position. And the way I'm going to do it is very simple. I'm just going to simply unscrew it and then move it to the position where it wants to be for 90 degrees. Now, it needs to be fully straight, and I believe that is the 90 degree position. So I'm going to mark that now for the center. There. Remove that, get this out of the way temporarily. So this is my new position. And I reckon that now is where it needs to be. There we go. And I'll now put the retaining screw back in the arm bracket. So that's that one done. And I'll do the same on the other side. That's that. And then just the retaining screw to go in. Right, well, opening it up is fairly straightforward. Uh, it's near to vertical. I could make a, a slight improvement on that. Uh, vertical is actually about there. I'll make that adjustment uh, uh, separately. And we now encourage it to close. And that's super. Now this is, uh, this lid is 4.2 kilos. And my estimate of mine is it's probably about um, between two and three kilos heavier. Now it is possible with these stays uh, to adjust uh, the uh, amount of uh, resistive force when you're closing. And there is a screw in here uh, on each side uh, which you can adjust. And I'm going to make sure mine are on the full adjustment to give the maximum, which they are, uh, the maximum resistance. So this is the maximum resistance. So if you wanted your lid to close uh, in less time, then you would undo these and you always do your best to make sure you do this the same amount and you can see that was a little bit quicker. Now this lid is only 4.2 kilos and so it's probably about two maybe two and a half kilos lighter uh, than the lid that I've got. So in order to make it more realistic I'm going to add a couple of clamps and we'll just see how it performs. Now remember I've adjusted the soft close mechanism uh, so it's not at its full potential and I suspect this will go a little bit too fast. That's too fast. Now if I now adjust these back to where I had them before and this is now at their maximum power and let's see how that goes now and that's pretty good now I, I think this is about the weight of my lid but I might be wrong and I might be wrong by as much as the weight of another clamp now you have to bear in mind that I'm taking these uh, stays well beyond their specified capability. Well beyond it. 
And so it's not really fair to say that they are uh, not good enough for this job. And if you look, you can see it will close quite rapidly. But that little bit of a bump there was far better than it would be if I had no stays at all. If somebody accidentally let go of the lid as it was being lowered, it could come down with a real crash. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. But I'm pretty content uh, that if that lid comes down like that without any manual intervention, that no damage would be done. So for me, these stays are perfect. And I could find nothing else on the market that would come close to the capability of these particular stays. So I'm really content with using these in my keyboard application. Right, so I now have the confidence uh, to go and start drilling holes in my cabinet. I've put my template in place. Here I go. And this one's in, and I'm going to get my positioning uh, by laying this against the top, the top being held in place at the 90 degrees that I want. So I'm now going to put a brattle mark there and a brattle mark there. So that's that, and I can now drill those holes. That's that, and I can now position my stay on there and put the locking screw on. So that's the left hand side and the right hand side is pretty similar. Well I've undone my, my little support mechanism at the back here now. Now it's a question of seeing how this goes. Right, I, I was there just in case for that first go. Let's let it go on its own now. Now, I reckon that is pretty good. It's no bang. It's reasonably fast, I know. But how about that? That's absolutely super. So all I can say is thank you very much indeed to the people at Eurofit who gave me the advice in the first place and sent these samples to me. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.